We were the first vegan barbecue located in Portland, without a doubt, and we think we were the first vegan barbecue in the world. You're not going to know that that's not meat. My favorite reviews on review sites are the ones that are coming from barbecue aficionados like myself, but who are still omnivores, and they're like, vegan barbecue? What? And when they come try it, they say, I'll put that right up there with the best barbecue I've ever had. The most popular item on our menu at Homegrown Smoker is probably our ribs. I have in front of me right now regular ribs and vegan ribs and I'm going to try them both out for the first time in front of you and kind of compare if they taste the same. What I'm hoping for with the tempeh ribs is to get this meaty juicy texture that I get and love from pork ribs. When it comes to sauciness I think the tempeh ribs are the winner here. The interior is definitely like visual. You can tell that it's not meat or it doesn't even look like meat. You get still the heartiness that you get from pork ribs and the barbecue smoke and sauce tastes exactly like what you would get at any barbecue joint. It tastes not exactly like pork ribs, but it's a great alternative Most of the times that I have tried it, it didn't actually taste like mac and cheese. I think cheese is one of those vegan foods that are really hard to recreate. And this one actually does taste a lot like mac and cheese. I prefer this vegan mac and cheese more than this one. So the vegan mac and cheese is so surprising because it's actually creamier and it has so much of that like really like warming seasoning like paprika and um, I think the nutritional yeast adds a lot of body to it. I am quite surprised. So when I discovered soy curls and we came up with the slow smo mofo which is our most popular sandwich, it's kind of like a pulled pork sandwich. I think between the, the pulled pork sandwiches, texturally, they're really, really incredibly similar. Texture of the soy curls is like spot on. It's chewy, it's kind of like that stringy texture that you would expect from pulled pork. And honestly, if I were to do a blind test between these two, I don't think I would be able to discern a difference. I myself am not 
a vegan, but I would go to Homegrown and get the barbecue items because they just taste so good. Having Jeff's barbecue gives me another layer of like appreciation and honestly respect for his craft because I can tell just how much love